Now, this caught our eye today. A man in Toronto has stuck up a poster in his local town blaming women for the demise of chivalry. This is what he says on his uh, note that he stuck up. OK, ladies, I get it. You don't want a pleasant evening chat. You don't want a gentleman to walk you to your car. You don't want a friendly dude to help you carry your groceries or hold open the door. It goes on for a little while. And then it says, <laughs> fine. Fear the good guys. Give the good guys a chance to help you be less afraid of the world. So what do you think? Is he right or just cross? Well, I think he probably is cross, and I think in some respects he's right. Yeah. Because I think chivalry is dead, and I think that's down to us, you know, with the whole feminism and, you know, I don't need anyone to open the door. Mm -hmm. And, of course, me being romantic. You know, I love all of that. I love when a guy opens the door for you yeah. or says, you know, so I, I actually think he's got a point, and it must be frustrating for nice guys to see all the bad guys winning. OK. You know, the ones that do treat you badly, and they seem to be the ones the girls really fall for. I don't think feminism can be blamed for the demise of chivalry. I think that women deciding to get drunk and larry in public have alienated lots of men, and it's much more complicated than that. And I don't think, you know, I don't personally think chivalry is dead. I think we shouldn't just look for chivalrous men, we should look for chivalrous people mm, of I both agree. sexes and a bit more a bit more niceness in the world, you know, speaking well, he's of... he's talking on a romantic level. He's well, just talking about nice people. Anyone that types something out like that and sticks it up with a big roll of black that tape... tape. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder, what are they doing going around with that roll of tape? <laughs> well, exactly. Maybe if they see Miss 5% or Miss Right, they're going to suddenly get out the tape. I mean, it's a bit, <laughs> little bit stupid. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'd open the door for someone if they're coming through, the same as I'd expect a man or woman to open the door for me. Well, and that's what I'm with, talking yeah, about. Yeah, and Linda. the same with shopping. Yes, if I've you see someone struggling with shopping, you'd help someone with shopping. I have you? met women who go, I, I'm quite capable of opening the door myself, or, you know, I'm quite capable of carrying the shop. And I go, that's you are fine. capable, you but are it's capable, the person near the door that nice holds the thing door. To yeah, do, open you know, for them. I know, yeah. I it, is, is your mark chivalrous? He's very he's chivalrous. He always walks on the outside, so he always walks near the road if we're walking along the street That's together. Nice. Always holds my hand. Always opens oh. the door for us. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he does a few other things as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't think we can blame, um, you know, men for chivalry being dead. Absolutely not. I think everybody has got much more aggressive in, you know, yeah, when you go on public transport, everybody gets more pushy. So it's not just men who aren't chivalrous. Women yeah. aren't chivalrous to other women. And, you know, speaking of someone who sees the door of the train open and there's one seat, my elbows <laughs> go. <laughs> doing the 100 metres in the Olympics. <laughs> I want that seat, I want it now. Well, as someone who gets a train every morning to work, I've met people like you. Yeah. <laughs> And, you know, actually, you know, and I do get the tra train into work this in, in the mornings, and, you know, nine times out of ten, people don't even care whether you're male, female, whatever. You know, if there's a seat, it, it's like Superman zooming in, zooming, zoning in on it. But occasionally it has happened where a, a gent there'll be two of us and a gentleman will go, after you, you have Hopefully. it. And I really genuinely appreciate that, because men don't have to stand wearing heels all the way, you know, But to you work, thought this so guy was that. a bit creepy. The, the thing, that, there was one little line in it that made me think that this guy was a little bit creepy. He says, um, uh, fine, fear the good guys, I guess we'll just have to suffer watching you get broken over and over by the scum yeah, you think weirdo. you love. But I want you to know <laughs> it's not easy and it hurts to see you f fall. Is that fail or fall? Um, I just think that's a little bit, that's very passive aggressive it's like it's hurting me watching you fail i think he's been turned down loads of times he's yeah. just crossed with I'm ladies so. <laughs> he wants to look at me. <laughs> We've got some emails here. Samantha says, men can't win, really. A lot of women want to be treated as equals and find these things patronising, whereas others are happy with it. It's yeah. hard to know which women will thank you and which will want to smack mm. you in the face. Yeah. That sort of Do thing. you know that's a fair point? It is, yeah. And Kate has said, I don't expect anything from men, but I certainly wouldn't be offended if a man did offer to open the door or carry me shopping for me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. when I've got a massive suitcase on the train or I'm, I'm wheeling it along the platform and I get to my carriage on the train, I leave it and I wait. See if anything happens. <laughs> Does it? No. No, not unless I 
could levitate that suitcase, <laughs> uh, I'm going to be humping it up. Yeah. And last week, I was in a car park that had steps, no slope, yeah. and I had to hump it. Ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. And this bloke got out of his car and just walked, walked past, past me, and I thought, well, Janet, that's the problem with being a mouthy woman. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And he thinks, have a bit of your own medicine. <laughs> For more Loose Women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content. My husband got on top of me and we... Oh! <laughs> oh, my God! Sherry, you get the wave, you get the kickback. Just as you get a rhythm going, you get...